Adobe Sign is the preferred e-signature solution for Microsoft customers thanks to our deep integration with Microsoft products and our strategic partnership with Microsoft. In this video, I will walk you through a demo of the integration between Adobe Sign and Microsoft Dynamics 365. Adobe Sign is also integrated with Microsoft Dynamics on-prem. There are two key feature sets I want to highlight. One, sending a contract for signature and tracking the status of the agreement in real time. I will use the example of a sales manager sending a contract to a prospective client for signature. Two, signing experience. I will walk you through the review and signing experience that the customer has when they receive the contract. We'll be working with two personas, Jonathan Carlson, an account executive at Raiden Sama. He needs to close a deal quickly. He will request his client, Sarah Tran, who works at AdventureWorks, to sign the sales contract using Adobe Sign for Microsoft Dynamics 365. We'll start from the perspective of the account executive, Jonathan Carlson, and look at how he can generate a contract with just a few clicks and send it for signature within Microsoft Dynamics 365. To get started, Jonathan clicks Sales from his agreement's main dashboard. Then he clicks Opportunities to choose the lead he wants to work on. All he needs is a signature on the service agreement and he can close this lead. Jonathan clicks the opportunity for AdventureWorks. This brings up the dashboard for the opportunity. He navigates to the top menu bar. He clicks Send for Signature. He has the option of sending an NDA or a new agreement for signature. He selects New Agreement. The options can be configured by the Microsoft Dynamics Administrator. There are a number of options on this Send screen. The customer's information is automatically ingested by Adobe Sign from the opportunity. In this case, Sarah Tran's email address. The account executive has the option to add additional recipients. For example, if the contract needs to be signed by the client as well as client's legal representative. Adobe Sign automatically routes the document to the signatories in the order that the recipient email addresses are entered on this screen. You will also see that this contract includes a data field called PO number. This data field will be a text field in the contract that Sarah, the client, will need to fill out. Once the transaction is completed, the PO number will be pushed back into Dynamics. Using this two-way data mapping between Dynamics and Adobe Sign, you can make sure that your employees don't have to manually type or copy and paste information between the electronic contract and Dynamics. As I scroll down this page, you will notice additional send options. You can see that the contract is visible under the Attachments header. Adobe Sign dynamically generates the sales contract with information from the opportunity, such as the price of the products and customer's contact information. The account executive has the option to add additional documents or exhibits, such as any custom terms and conditions or statement of work. Under the agreement options, the account executive can choose to set an expiration date on the contract. In addition, by choosing preview position signatures or add form fields, Jonathan can add custom fields to the contract. For example, a field for PO number that needs to be provided by the client, Sarah Tran. When he's happy with the details, he clicks send agreement. All of these options can be pre-configured in an agreement template so that the sales rep doesn't have to worry about them and all he has to do is click Send. Jonathan's dashboard updates to show him that the agreement has been sent out for signature. Now let's take a look at the view that the client, Sarah Tran, has as she reviews and signs the contract. Sarah receives a notice of a new email from Raiden Sama, Jonathan's company. She opens the email and clicks the link to review and sign the document. The contract opens up in a web browser and is a completely HTML experience. Sarah doesn't need any special software to review and sign. In addition, the experience is completely responsive, so it reflows according to the device format. She'll be guided through the process step by step. She fills in the PO number in the contract before signing it. Next, she clicks on the signature field and is prompted to apply her signature. Since she is on a tablet, she can draw her signature using her fingers. Finally, she clicks to apply the signature. 
When she's signed the agreement, she receives a thank you page that is branded with the customer's logo, Raiden Sama. This page can be completely customized by Jonathan's organization. Sarah will also receive a copy of the signed agreement. Jonathan checks the status of the agreement one more time. On his new agreement dashboard, he can see the status has changed to Signed. He clicks the name of the agreement to bring up additional information related to the transaction. Jonathan notices that the PO number field has been automatically populated from the signed contracts. He then clicks Notes to see a signed copy of the contract. Under Notes, he sees the signed agreements. He opens the agreement and verifies Sarah Tran's signature. Final documents are certified with a tamper evidence seal and delivered automatically to all parties. The blue ribbon at the top of the agreement certifies that the document has not been tampered with. The audit trail captures every step in the transaction. Jonathan creating the contract, sending it out for signature, and Sarah signing it. This final document, with its tamper evidence seal, combined with the audit trail that logs every step of the document history, provide legal proof of signing which can be used in a court of law.